Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. In this video, would tell you in detail about the QA hiring trends, what's going on these days with respect to the testing job opportunities, with respect to the testing vacancies, and would share all the things in detail with you. And before that, I would also like to update you about the new digital product that has been launched on the TopMate. And this contains the list of companies along with the links wherein you can apply for the remote IT job. So if you're looking for the software tester jobs, or if you're looking for SDET or QA analyst, or if you're looking for any of the IT jobs, JavaScript developer, software developer, you can get all the companies which generally do hire, hire remote people, candidates, and they allow them to do work from home. So you can avail this particular product. I'll be putting this link in the comment section as well as in the description of the video so that it becomes handy for you. It's a big document with the list of the companies. Along with that, we have also mentioned which all um, areas the companies are hiring. For example, if they are hiring in India or they are hiring in abroad and which all candidates, which all people can apply for those particular positions along with the links as well. Now, let's understand what's happening with respect to the hiring trend these days. So this is one of the job description that I have got from the LinkedIn, from the job portals. And you can read it and you can understand. So there is a hiring for automation test engineers, immediate joiners only. And we are looking for passionate QA automation engineers to join the dynamic team. Experience is three to five years. Primary location is Hyderabad and Bangalore. And the skill set required, you can see the list of skill sets. Anyone who is having three to five years of experience would be either having some exposure to Selenium or they might have exposure to Playwright. If they have both of them, it's good, but it, it cannot be possible to that particular duration of three to five years. So you can see in this job description, they're expecting you these particular things. And apart from Java as a programming language, they are also expecting JavaScript or TypeScript. They are also expecting Playwright, they're also expecting Cypress. So here the requirement is not to hire a single QA person, or an automation test engineer, I would say they are planning to hire the entire QA department itself. Because anyone who is interested to join their team will have to be, will have to have the knowledge of multiple things. Now, see, one aspect is if you have the knowledge, you would be able to answer an interview, you'll be able to do the R&D and you'll be able to proceed with the things or the work assigned to you. But experience of three to five years with all the skill set is not possible at all. I have also seen job description in which they are expecting the QA candidates to have seven plus, eight plus, 10 plus years of experience with respect to playwright, with respect to AI testing, with respect to gen AI things. That's not possible because these things are latest in the market and not as you are working in the company, it is not your decision to jump from one tool to another tool. You can do some hands-on practice by yourself on weekends. That's altogether a different topic. But when you are working in the company, you are supposed to work as per the nature of that particular organization. When I say nature of the organization means, let's say your boss is telling that you'll be using uh, Selenium over here. So you'll continue using Selenium. If your boss is telling you have to use Playwright, you'll continue using Playwright. You cannot oppose them and start using the skills as per your requirement. So must have should be like if you keep in these particular things in must have, then it's fine. But if you keep everything in must have, then that is something that is not acceptable because as a QA individual with someone who is having three to five years of experience, how much exposure he or she would have got into the industry. Okay. And to make the matters worst, what happens, what is happening these days is, so I'll tell you one more incident. So one of my subscriber, she got selected in the company, in one of the MNC company in Mumbai location. And she was end to end an automation tester. She was having 2.5 years of experience prior to this. When she went for giving the interview, she got all the test automation questions only. The questions on the framework, Selenium, what kind of exceptions she, she has faced. So all these questions she got, which is fine. If you get framework related questions or Selenium or exceptions, that's totally acceptable. 
and uh, you get oops questions, you get collections question at time. So that's fine. But when she was hired and she was onboarded, so after four months, we again connected and she updated that as of now, they are making me just write the manual test cases and execute them. So the four months of the person is getting lost. The skill set, that particular person, that particular candidate was having the skill set of automation testing, but she is being asked to do manual testing. She's been asked to do functional testing. She's asked to perform test case execution, right? And what would happen slowly and gradually after a period of time, she'll forget, she'll start forgetting the automation things. So one of the advice here is that you should always revise the things on Saturdays and Sundays during the weekends, during the holidays. But what about the work culture? What about the QA hiring trend? So this is what is happening in the industry these days. You're getting at most complex questions. You are getting level, I would say, beyond very, very complex questions. Some people are also referring to the questions in the lead code website also. So they have been asked those kind of questions. And these days, the interviews are happening not to select the candidates, but those are happening to filter the candidates, to reject the candidates. So that's again some of the thing that is very, um, I would say, unprofessional. Because as an interviewer, if you see that the person, the candidate, they are answering 80% of the questions, 70% of the questions, try to hire them give them an opportunity you cannot get 10 on 10 candidates you cannot get candidates who will answer all your questions 100 percent because if everyone is able to answer 100 percent of the questions they'll be getting jobs in the companies like google amazon microsoft why would they come to your company so as an interviewer you should be open-minded you should see whether the person who has come for giving the interview the candidate he or she should have good knowledge of the fundamentals should have good basic knowledge of the software testing he or she should be able to apply the practical knowledge should be there but if you expect everything from every person then definitely they will not answer and this way your time and their time is also getting wasted your effort is also getting wasted their efforts are also getting wasted and these days the people are getting demotivated so many times i'm getting calls on top mate that i'm getting rejected i'm getting rejected i was able to answer nine out of ten questions but still i got rejected so those kind of things are happening in the market so this was a short video i wanted to create with respect to update you on the hiring trends so be prepared give the mock interviews make sure that you are prepared with respect to framework questions oops questions collections because these things would be asked to you and last but not the least there's a digital product in which we have consolidated the list of the companies which are hiring remote and for all the it related jobs you'll get the list here they are hiring remote you can directly apply on the company website right so that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching this video the hiring trend and the qa is definitely a concerning it's an alarm it's a red flag and uh, if you are a candidate you are going for the interviews so try to answer maximum questions and if you are not able to recall any of the answer of the question then you can say that i'm not able to recall maybe if you can help for now so you have to get that gap filled and you have to ensure that from the next time you are prepared with those questions also. So these are the hiring trends in the QA industry. You can see they are expecting a lot of skill set, a lot of tools. But if you are comfortable with one of the programming language, one of the tool, and you know how to implement it in a right manner, how to implement it in a real-time manner, then also it's fair enough. Right? So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching this video. And stay tuned for more updates.